Norway 3, Victor Sierra. Norway 3, Victor Sierra. What's the name, sir? Yeah, the name here is Tom. I'm located up in northeastern Pennsylvania near the city of Scrant, Pennsylvania. And I just put this rig on the air. I was hoping it was good enough. Fritz and I found 7410, and I'm copying you about 10 over 9. Over. Uh, roger that. Well, we uh, do have a setup procedure to increase your dynamic range if you might be interested in just a little bit fatter signal. It uh, starts with the compressor, and we suggest running about a 3 on that compressor. It's a very token amount. No one will ever hear it. And that's exactly the way a compressor should be. Uh, you shouldn't be hearing this suck up, suck up between <laughs> words. Uh, so we just uh, recommend uh, setting that compressor at a three as uh, the starting point for uh, increasing that uh, uh, dynamic range uh, to a, a three as opposed to a, a six or a seven. Roger? Yeah, Roger. Well, I gotta go into the menus and check. I just just got it. It's set just uh, whatever it came from the factory with, and I'll just uh, go in there. I'll remember that. Set it at three on the compressor, and uh, standby st uh, frequencies in use. Down here to see just how I get there with the menus. Uh, doesn't have too many menus, and that's one good feature. I don't like menus, but uh, I frequencies in use, please. Roger, sir. Uh, come back with your name. Name is Tom. Check Social Mary. Right, Roger, Tom. Okay, uh, let me give you the whole setup real quickly there. Uh, if you take notes, uh, uh, this compressor on a three, engage the compressor at a three, then go to your AOC meter, and uh, with your mic gain, adjust your AOC meter to uh, deflect uh, mid scale to two thirds. Uh, operate your, adjust your mic gain until your AOC meter is reading mid scale to two thirds. Roger. Roger, Roger. Got that broke down. We'll give that a try in just a little bit. So outside of that, how else does this little girl sound? Oh, I think the EQ is fine. I, I think you're, uh, when you fatten it up, I think the EQ will just uh, turn out to be perfect, Roger. Yeah, okay, very fine. I, I got you 10 over 9. What are you running here for power? I'm just running what it comes with, 100 watts. Roger, uh, I'm running a kilowatt. And uh, I'm copying you at 10 dB over my noise level. I don't have my uh, receiver set up like most folks. I uh, run a very reduced RF input, but uh, I am running, uh, you know, looking at your audio on a uh, VU meter, and I set to zero level on your peaks. And then uh, when you see speaking, it shows me the noise level. So you are uh, 10 dB over my noise level. Good signal. Okay, okay fine. Here, you're running 20 over 9 on the S meter here. Well, very fine. I do thank you very much. I think I'm going to like this old rig. Uh, I don't, not many people like it. I uh, haven't heard many people that have one. And I see a lot of them up for sale, so I, I hope there's not much wrong with them over. Oh, I, I think it's uh, close. I, I think you just uh, close in that AOC uh, a little bit, uh, re, you know, bring it up mid-scale to two-thirds. I think it'll fatten up uh, uh, really nice. Uh, and we are um, uh, suggesting that, um, you know, the better you see your audio, the better you can control it, uh, you know, uh, and the consistency of mic uh, uh, placement is very important and, and how you address the microphone, the consistency of which you address the microphone. And uh, one thing uh, that might be able to help you is that if you turn your watt meter into uh, a VU meter, in other words, the, the watt meter will reflect your audio level pretty precisely, just like a VU meter almost. So if you, you know, observe your watt meter as you're speaking and you know where your normal uh, peak is, then you want uh, every word kind of to hit that, uh, that same place. So if you use your watt meter as a VU meter, then uh, it will tell you when you're off mic like that, your level drops down. And when you come up on mic, your level comes up. So you want to keep your level up and you can, you can see see your level on the uh, watt meter, Roger. Roger that. Okay, very fine. They can do all those things. I do thank you for the contact, sir. You've got an excellent signal with very good audio. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I've got to go and uh, get the book out and do a little bit of reading on it now. 7-3 for now. It was a pleasure.
Roger, Roger, Tom, three's that way. And I, I suggest creating a uh, cheat sheet. <laughs> Say that on a slippery day. A cheat sheet to, to where, you know, you can get to your menu and, uh, the, you know, it'll give you uh, how to get to the Yellow Brick Road and uh, take a left at the whatever. It'll just write down how to get to things uh, like uh, important things like your EQ, your mic gain, your ALC, uh, you know. And uh, so then uh, instead of having to learn the whole book, you can uh, check uh, quickly on your uh, cheat sheet to uh, see how to, to get to things. Thanks, Roger. Okay, very fine. I think I'll do that. I'm not used to a great with menus. Good with swans, but uh, <laughs> swans and drakes were my thing in my day. Eight here, by the way, is 86. Over. Roger, Roger. All right, uh, three's that way, and uh, you have a, a real good day. And if you want to hear what your audio sounds like, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO vlog page. And on that page, you'll be looking for QSO entitled My Group Air Check 91319. My Group Air Check 91319. Roger. Roger. My group here, check 91319. Very good. I have that wrote down. You take care. Have a fine afternoon. In 3 BS will be clear. Roger, Roger, Tom. Three that way, sir. Have a good day. Uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. And if you're looking for uh, an air check uh, to hear what your radio sounds like, uh, come aboard. KC9 VKV.